a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on Gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on I got my natural case I got the hogs on the BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some meatloaf muffins at the pit, and they're real easy to do. All right, let's put this together here. Now, we've got three types of meat. We've got a pound of ground pork, a pound of ground veal, and here we've got two pounds of ground chuck, and we got some bacon. All right, first thing we're going to do here is add one large chopped onion to some olive oil. We're going to cook it down just a bit, right? And to that, we're going to add about three cloves of chopped garlic. Yeah. Oh, man, it smells good. All right. Now, here I've got two pounds of ground chuck. Use chuck whenever you can, all right? And here I've got one pound of pork sausage. And to make this a classic meatloaf, I've got one pound of veal, all right? And we're going to mix it up. And you want to handle it gently, right? You don't want to uh, overwork the meat, and you'll see what happens, okay? Let's see. Now, to the mix, we're going to add two eggs. And this helps to bind, right, a little bit. You know all about that, I'm sure. I'm gonna whip the eggs a little bit. Throw them in the mixing bowl. Keep it there. Oh, man. Now, to that, we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of thyme. And here I've got three tablespoons of tomato paste. Oh man, these are good, I'm telling you. And to the bowl, I'm going to add three tablespoons of SPG, all right? You could use salt and pepper. All right. And here I've got about a half a cup of Italian-style breadcrumb. Use your favorite breadcrumb, right? And, of course, you got to add a good slice of bread. Get some white bread. Maybe some day old bread. Get it right in there. And this will help keep these meatloaf muffins moist. That's one of the tricks. Now, here I've got three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. This will ensure that these uh, meatloaf muffins aren't bland, right? Just add some Worcestershire sauce. Now, to the mix, I'm adding about a quarter cup of beer, more or less. Give it a light mix. Now we're going to add those cooked down onions and garlic. I'm telling you, once you make these the first time, you'll keep coming back for more and more. Now, give it a good mix. Again, don't really uh, compress it. You want to keep it light. All right, now I've got a muffin pan. You've seen these before. These are the large muffin pans. And uh, you want to take your mixture and make a giant meatball, just like that, all right? Now, if you've got a big family picnic going on or a tailgate, or you got some guys over to the pit, you can always pre-make these. And here, I've got some barbecue sauce. Use your favorite barbecue sauce or use some chup, whatever. Adds another layer of flavor on the top. Oh, man. And um, some people like the bacon on the top. So we're going to make a couple with the bacon on top. Just remember now, bacon changes flavor. And we have a lot of flavor already built into these meatloaf muffins. 
so we'll have two with bacon. Now we're going to throw them on the grill opposite the hot coals at about 325 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to cook it slow. This will help keep it real moist. And while we're waiting, we're just kicking back at the pit. Hell yeah. And don't forget, if you want to start a chapter or join a chapter, just go to our website, barbecuepitboys.com, and sign up. We're about halfway into this. Should take uh, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. And uh, we're going to drain off some of the fat. Now, this is optional. All right. All right. Take a look at that. Now you want to make sure the internal temperature is at uh, least 160 degrees, right about there, cooked at the center. That's what you're after. And it took us a little over uh, maybe an hour and 15 minutes at the slow 325 uh, degree Fahrenheit. Now here I've got some gouda cheese this is smoked bacon gouda cheese use a cheese whatever you like so we're going to hit a couple of these with cheese this is pit master privilege all right put the cover on and let the cheese melt all right i say it's time to eat Time to plate it up. Take a look at that. Oh, baby. Yeah. On top of bacon. Gotta make a bunch of these. Now, these meatloaf muffins, we're gonna need some gravy. So we got ourselves some brown gravy. Pour it all over the top. Got some mashed potatoes, some corn. Now, of course, as always, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but uh, we call this Pitmaster Privilege. Moist, tender. This flakes off on the fork. Those with a real good appetite. How about a big old bowl? 